So let's have a look at our microflow. Currently what happens is if you click on the pay rise button, it adds 500 pounds onto the salary. But let's imagine we want to do something like, let's say, say there was a sort of cap on salary increases of um, 25,000. So um, no one is allowed to have a, temporarily, no one is allowed to have a salary increase beyond 25,000. So let's go into our microflow and let's change it so that it will have this kind of ability to sort of cap people's pay rises. This is an opportunity to try a decision. So here's my existing pay rise microflow that we've already created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this thing here over. What we want to do is we want to have a kind of test a test on the salary to say, you know, is it more than 25,000? If it is, pop up a little message saying that's not allowed. If it's less than 25,000, then we can allow the change to occur. So this kind of test, this kind of condition, this might be familiar to you if you've ever done anything like um, a programming. It's like an if statement. You might have used if statements in um, Excel, something like that. It's a decision. It basically, it's an outcome that we evaluate to see if it's true or false. Now, the way that we do that is by using one of these decision objects. So I'm just going to drag that over to here and I'm going to pop it on my microflow like that. So we'll start here and we'll come along, we'll come to this decision and then something will happen. If that evaluation is um, false. In other words, if we are allowed to make the pay rise, we'll travel along here and we'll go this way. If it's um, true, then we want to do something to sort of not allow the pay rise to happen. So the way we're going to do that is we will have, let's have something like a sort of pop up a message or something. So let's find the um, show message dialog box. Here it is. So this is going to show a sort of dialog box. We're going to drop that over here. There it is. And I can connect that by doing the kind of wiring. I just grab the circle and drop it on that circle there, like that. Now you might be tempted to kind of do this kind of thing, take this and sort of connect it to here, but you're not really allowed to do that. What you have to do is you have to have another kind of end point. So you can find the endpoints down here, the end event. So I'm just going to drag that and I'm just going to pop it. I like to put these things in line so they sort of look nice. And then that is going to connect to there. There we go. So here's my flow. Start off, do the test. Either we allow the change to happen and we end, or we're going to go down here, pop up a little message, and then we'll end. So what message are we going to pop up at this point? I'm just going to double tap on here and let's say something like um, no excessive pay rises this year or something are allowed. Click OK. Getting there. So we've got our two possible outcomes. Either we're going to allow the change to go through or what will happen is we're going to pop up a little message. But now well, this is where we have to configure the test. So I'm going to tap on here and we could put a caption on the box, but really it's this expression bit, which is the interesting bit. Now we used this before and it's where it's where you use the dollar sign and the forward slash. So I'm going to tap the dollar sign and it pops up all the available things that we could use inside our uh, statement our, our, our condition well what we want to do is we want to test employee and then I use a forward slash and it's going to be Sal and what we want to do is we want to say is Sal um, greater than 25,000 oops Turn that again 25,000 there we go so this expression 
will be evaluated to see if it's true or false. Obviously, if the salary is greater than 25,000, this is going to produce a true. If the salary is less than 25,000, this is going to produce a false. So I'll click on OK. Now you can see the moment I've done that, these little red lines have appeared. And what we need to do is we need to indicate which one of these is going to be the path we choose if it's true, which one we're going to true choose if the path is false. So if I tap on the little blue circle, what we should find is it says um, add a decision or change or whatever, you know, basically down here, here we go. There it is, set condition. Now we need to get this the right way around. So this is going to be false. Now you see it's automatically labeled the other one. So let's make sure that's the correct way around. I'll just move this over here so you can see. If the salary is greater than 25,000, is it greater than 25,000? If it is, that's true. And we go this way and we pop up the little dialog box. If this is false, in other words, the salary is less than 25,000, we're going to go along here and we're going to allow the change. There we are. OK, let's try it. So I'm going to recreate the app. App is running. Let's try it out. I'm going to click on here. Let's go into March. Now March's salary is currently 21,000. So I click on pay rise. Yes, they can have a pay rise. Yep. 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 No problems. But now watch what happens when we hit 25,000. No excessive pay rise is allowed this year. Now think about what actually happened there. We said um, salary greater than 25,000. So when it was 25,000, that didn't trigger the alarm, the alert. So um, it was only when the salary was 25,500 that that little condition went off at that point. There we go. Let's cancel it. Let's prove it again. Pay rise, pay rise, pay rise. This is false. It's, it's not greater than 25,000. It's not greater than 25,000. It's still not greater than 25,000. So when I click this, it, it adds the 500 on. It's at that point that we get the information box popping up. Now, you might want to change that. So if I cancel that and put their salary back to where it was. Back in here, you know, we might actually say, OK, actually, we want it to be greater than or equal to 25,000. Let's try that. Recreate the app. Let's run it again. Go into March. 21,000. Let's try it out. Click, 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 click. There. There we go. It triggers the alert. We aren't allowed to go above that 25,000 figure. And there's nothing I can do. I can't go above that. There we go.